When we were called to cast, Ryan was talking about casting a few years ago, I was praying for my sisters, for my mom, for my aunt to come to church, to come to Christ. And they would make their, their little excuses. Oh, I can't this week, I have something today, uh, maybe next time. And I begged them to come on Easter and they've been coming ever since. And it's really the little things, it's the people who are standing at the door on the Connect team with a smile on their face. One of the things that I've been inspired by in the, the first series, that it gives me joy to serve Christ in that way. And if it's just the smile on my face and opening the door for someone, if that's the door to salvation for someone, then praise God. Before coming to Christ, I owned a yoga studio. I was in the thick of the self-care age. I saw people, and I was one of them, that I was seeking satisfaction in something. I was seeking happiness. And we were looking in the wrong ways, in the wrong places. When I found Christ and put Him first, I started to, my whole perspective changed. And I found that serving Christ by serving others gave me satisfaction and I've never felt more loved and taken care of since that perspective shift. Putting Jesus first to me is no idols and don't be idle. One of my friends, John, always talks about uh, consumer Christianity, which is just you come in, you know, you, you drink the wine, you have the coffee, you listen to the sermon, but you don't participate at all. Um, and I think Ryan, Steve, the whole staff here do a really good job of explaining like you have to be involved, you have to be engaged, you have to be participating. And that really does help you connect to the community, helps you grow as a person, as a Christian. You have the gift of generosity and giving. For me, I can get nervous about giving money when I don't really know always where the money is coming from. And I think that it's inspiring to see people who are generous and they're not looking at uh, well, what do, I, what do I need that for? And you've been a good example that when we give, God provides. So there have been times when you weren't stressed about it, but I thought twice, and I saw, I saw the fruit in your generosity. Sometimes we are comfortable, we're more comfortable saying, oh, I'm scared of something, or I've done this wrong, and talking about money is something that it's just an uncomfortable thing to talk about. How do I explain it? Um... When your heart changes, when, when you give your heart to Christ, for me it was a light switch. God changed my heart one day, uh, and ever since then it hasn't been a matter of, you know, is this a force, is this a behavior that I want to do? No, this is now an instinctual thing that I'm doing because it's what I feel called to do. After not eating for 12 hours, you're going to be hungry, you're going to seek food. It's, it's as natural as that.